Welcome back to A People's Guide to Publishing. I'm Joe Beal, the founder and CEO of Microcosm Publishing and Distribution. I'm also the author of A People's Guide to Publishing, which distills what I've learned from selling millions of books over the past 25 years. I'm Ellie Blue. I'm the Editorial and Marketing Director here at Microcosm. We are an independent midlist publisher based in Portland, Oregon. We have 14 employees, over 650 titles in print with 20 to 40 new books per year, and we distribute thousands of titles from other publishers. We started this podcast so that we can share what we've learned with newer publishers so that you can learn from our mistakes. Or perhaps you just want to better understand the publishing industry. This week, we are going to talk about a brand new book. That we published. And that I co-authored with Dr. Faith G. Harper, PhD, LPCS, ACS, ACN, and probably 10 more letters that she will have collected between the time we record this and the time that you see it. So what is your book called? It is called How to Be Accountable, Take Responsibility to Change Your Behavior, Boundaries, and Relationships. And this has been like our most popular book of this season. I just want to put that out there right at the top. Second behind The Practical Witch's Almanac 2021, which should tell you... Got it. Those two books should tell you everything you need to know about 2020. (laughs) So Joe, who has a certificate in uh, computer hardware repair... I do. I do. It's It's from 1990... I want to say 7. I think I saw it recently. Can you talk about how your education prepared you to write this book, How to Be Accountable, to co-write it? (sighs) We're put on these prescriptive human hamster wheels that are sort of telling us like what we need to do and like what institutions are important for us and how to be a successful person in the world when most of that is hogwash and you really need to figure out what's important to you and make the choices that are right for you and become the kind of person that you value rather than being you know like an upstanding member of your church in a healthy marriage or, you know, healthy in the sense of from the outside in a job that maybe pays you a lot of money, but doesn't create a lot of reward to your actual values. And, you know, we're saying like, here are numerous exercises and pieces of brain science that will deliver you more to the life that you want. And will, you will find fulfilling, more importantly. I love that. It's a good book. It's pretty heady. You got really into the research for it. I did. I got way too into researching this book. And then so much of that was not applicable. But then I had fallen so deep down so many rabbit holes of like, why do people believe in conspiracy theories? And why do smart people have such a hard time with like discerning what is fact or fiction? It's hard to do something well about how to actualize your best self and almost all of the books in print are really self hatey and or not actually telling you how to do it. Yeah, I feel like most of the books about accountability out there, most of what you hear about it is about how to get other people to be accountable. Does that even work? And I mean, this is sort of like ties in well to um, when we, back in the days of events, we would have Faith's first book, Unfuck Your Brain, on the table, and so many people would come up and joke and be like, I should buy this for my mom. And you're like, that's not really how that works. Like, you can't um, will, you can't diagnose somebody else. You can only make decisions and changes and choices for yourself. And so that's really the core of this book, is that you can create group boundaries and like institutional norms and standards and that there's a lot of that in like the third third of the book the final third but most of this book is really about you it's about Mm -hmm. how you can be the you that you want to be you know rather than the you that you are told that you should be or have to be or is right for you this is really about you being ready and deciding that you want to live a different life It's a good book. It's got a lot of science in it. It's got a lot of examples. It has the dress. You may remember the dress. Yes, I researched the brain science of the dress. And while I had a brutal fight with my editors about maintaining any scrap of that, I did manage to keep maybe three paragraphs that executively summarize that situation, which is pretty fascinating. But I feel like the dress is the perfect metaphor because it 
it's the fact that like we can all look at the same situation and draw different conclusions from it you know and that's like particularly here we are in the aftermath of say the election or the that, pandemic that might resonate or like QAnon or any number of other things where you can look at it and you know and why people fall for bad information and why even smart people are susceptible to like really ludicrous conspiratorial thinking and you know sort of how the brain fails us at times like that and so I had a lot of fun researching that and I fell really deep into a lot of holes about that stuff. And then Dr. Faith um, would bring me back onto like the parts that science agreed upon and the parts that the jury was still out on and the parts where, you know, like I had fallen into like somebody's personal agenda mm -hmm. because, mm -hmm. you know, I don't have the PhD type education to understand where like the DSM feels about various things and you know and this is and you know we talk a little bit about stuff like sociopathy and that which is apparently like kind of not a thing anymore which is interesting but um or at least like medicine views it differently which I feel like is good because you know um ultimately though this book is about you, not about other people, unless you're a sociopath, in which case it's also about you because there's that in there too. And you making the life that you want. So if people want to hear you and Faith talk about this book, where can they hear that? They could come to our event at Powell's, which is a virtual event, meaning it is a now global event. And you do need to like sign up in advance, but you can do that, um, you know, for free. Powells.com. Mm -hmm. What day is it? It is, I believe, the uh, Sunday after Thanksgiving. So this coming Sunday. You know, so here we are. And, um, you know, so you can check that out and bring your smart questions and your, well, there's no not smart questions, so your questions. And you can ask Faith um, various things and we can talk about what accountability looks like and why everybody wants to make everyone accountable except themselves. Ooh. But now is, is your chance. Of it. Now is your chance. All right. I feel pretty accountable to my to-do list today. So let's wrap up this podcast. We'll see you next week. Thanks for joining us once again. Please send your questions to podcast at microcosmpublishing.com so we can answer them on future episodes. And please give us five stars on iTunes and everywhere else that podcasts are reviewed. You can find us on the internet at microcosm.pub. On Twitter at microcosm. On Facebook at microcosm publishing. On Instagram at microcosm underscore pub. And here in Portland, Oregon on North Williams Avenue. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful week.